Welcome again. What we are trying to do here is estimate the tip distribution between these four cities. We are given the four zones, uh, zone 1, 2, 3 and 4, which are respectively city of Econoli, Mithaka, Shoridan and Middleville. And I'm going to take those trips or I take those travel times and use them to distribute the 900 trips that are produced in Mithaka and distribute them to all the four zones. Now note that here, the travel times that are given to you, you can see that the intrazonal entries are not zero. So for example, the travel time for an intrazonal trip within Econoli, within the city of Econoli is seven minutes. And then similarly, the travel time is five minutes for trips within Mithaka, three minutes for trip within Shoridan, and two minutes for trip uh, within Middleville. What that means is typically you cannot ignore intrazonal trips. So we are going to have intrazonal trips as well as interzonal trips. Now I'm only trying to distribute the trips that are being produced in Mythica, which is 901. That's what I'm ask, being asked to do. So what I'm trying to look for is these values. The values that I'm trying to look for is or trying to estimate is T21, T22, T23, and last one is T24. So only the trips produced in zone 2, which is Mythica in this case, right here. So what I need for that is P, so I value is always 2. So if you look at the formula Tij, which is the number of trips going from zone I to zone J, I'm only going to try to distribute the trips that start at zone 2, which is Mythica, and 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, and 2, 4. So my Pi will always be equal to P2 which is nothing but 901. And then I'm going to create, then I'm going to have to create this proportion right here. Okay, so let's see how we can create this proportion. So AJ, that's the attraction for destination zone, which is J will be 1 in this case because T21 is what I'm trying to estimate. Fij, which will be F21, which I should be able to calculate according to this formula, as I'm going to show you in the next slide. And then on the denominator side of things, I'm going to have A1, F21, plus A2, F22, plus A3, F23, plus A4, F24. What I'm doing essentially is adding up all these corresponding proportions. So when you're trying to estimate T22, you're going to use this in the numerator. When you're estimating T23, you're going to use this in the numerator. And then when you're trying to estimate T24, you're going to use this in the numerator. So one by one, we are going to use each of these four values from the denominator in the numerator to be able to estimate T22, T23, and T24. In the next slide, I'm going to be able to show you the exact calculations. We cannot actually do the exact calculations yet, if you can guess that, because I haven't yet given you what the values of A1, A2, A3, and A4 are, which are the attractions for different zones. And without the attractions for different zones, you cannot actually produce the values of T21, T22, T23, and T24. So here, what I have is the origin and destination pairs for you. And now I'm giving you the attractions for all the trips. Now what you all you have to do is just apply the formula that we came up with in the last slide. So let me write that down. Tij now, because now I have all the information that I need. So I'm going to try to produce T, T21. And that will be equal to Pi, which is 901. So I'm trying to distribute these 901 trips. And I'm going to take AJ, which is A1, because J is 1 here. IJ, 2, 1. That's my correspondence. You can see that here. So AJ, in this case, for A1, will be 4909. That multiplied by FIJ. FIJ, I haven't yet calculated, but I could do so very easily because I know the formula from here. It's 100 times Tij raised to power minus 1. So I'm going to do 100 times Tij 
which is travel time from zone small t i j is the travel time from zone i to zone j. So you could see Econoli or from Mythica to Econoli the travel time is 35 minutes. So I'm going to do 35 here and raised to power negative 2. And in the denominator what I'm going to do is I'm going to have sum up summation of all four zones attractions times their friction factors. So let me write that down in a, in a smaller handwriting. I'm going to write all of that down in the numerator. So this, this, is the try, this is what I'm trying to come up now for the new denominator. This is the one thing that I, I boxed in here. So I'm going to do the first one is going to be the exact same one as the numerator, 4909 times 100 negative 2 plus now is T F A2 times F22 a2 attraction of zone 2 is 77 774 and I want to multiply of course the same thing with 100 times 35 not 35 in fact it's going to be just 5 because the interzonal travel time is 5 now so I'm going to do just do 5 raised to power minus 2 and I add the third one it's going to be 174 times 100 times 3 raised to power minus 2 and then the fourth one that I'm going to write now it's going to be 69 times I'm sorry this should not be 3 in fact this because I'm trying to get this it should be 20 so let me edit that here this 3 is not correct I need to add that and make that 20 because the travel time between Mythica and Shoridan, because I'm, that's what I'm trying to get at. It's the from Mythica to Shoridan, the travel time is 20 minutes, 69 times, and then the fourth one will be 69 times. That's the attractions of Middleville, and then travel time between Shoridan, uh, between Mythica and Middleville, which is going to be 12 minutes. So 69 times 100 times 12 raised to power minus 2. Now, once you solve this, you can get the value of the trip attractions uh, or, or trip uh, interchanges or trips going from zone 2 which is Mythica to zone 1 and now you can similarly calculate T22, T23 and T24 only thing that's going to change there only thing that's going to change there is going to be the values here when you try to calculate T22 you're going to replace this red boxed in value with the corresponding value for zone 2 which is going to be this one. Similarly when you're trying to calculate 3 1 what you're going to do is replace this red boxed in value with the blue value and similarly when you do the fourth one T 2 4 what you're going to do is you're going to create a, you're going to create the numerator with this fourth value right here. So it's fairly simple to calculate T21, T22, T23, and T24 here if you understand a couple of nuances as to how do you apply the formula. Now a couple of things when you're trying to solve the problem, a uh, couple of tricks, you can calculate the denominator just one time because that denominator is going to be the same for all calculations of T22, T23, and T24 as well. One thing also that you would notice is that if I take my Fij value, if I look at you, if you look carefully at your Fij value, I had a multiplier of 100 right here. What if the multiplier was 1000? Even if the multiplier was 1000 or any other value, that multiplier in fact does cancel out because it's a common factor in your numerator and your denominator. So in fact, this value of 100 actually does not make a difference when you're trying to calculate your trip interchanges which is the trips going from zone I to zone J. So that multiplier doesn't actually make a difference. The other thing I want to say is that here the intrazonal trips are not being in ignored. So that's why you see an entry for that's why you see an entry for intrazonal travel times in in the denominator right here. So this 100 times raised, 5 raised to power negative 2, which is the travel time for an intrazonal trip in Mythica, it still comes into play. The other thing that does is that T22 as a result 
will not be equal to z. I hope you are able to complete these calculations on your own. If not, I'm going to be able to show that to you in the next slide. On this slide, I want to quickly be able to show you the calculations for T22, T23, and T24. As you can see, it's very similar to what we did for T21, but I just want to complete the calculations in case you were having any trouble with, the, with that. So T22 will be equal to P2, which is 901 in the problem. AJ now, attractions for Mythica, which is 774 times 100 times 5 raised to power negative 2. And the denominator that we just calculated was three five seven three point four four I basically crunched the numbers for the denominator from the previous slide and if you were to calculate this you should be able to calculate t21 as or rather t22 as 777 if you were to calculate this that comes out to be about 777 trips so the number of trips that are going to start at Mythica and end at Mythica are going to be 777 trips. So you can see that the big chunk of 901 trips, 777 of them remain in Mythica. Now similarly I could calculate T23 which is going to be 901 times the denominator is going to be the same 3573.44. And the numerator is going to be different here. Now, it's going to be A3. A3 is uh, essentially 174. That's given to us. And then 100 times the travel time between zone 2 and zone 3, which is 20 minutes. So I'm going to do 20 raised to power minus 2 now. And if you were to calculate this number, the number will come out to about 11 trips. So as you can see, a big chunk of trips remain in Mythica out of the 901, 777 trips remain in Mythica, 11 trips remain, uh, go to Shoridan and if you were to similarly calculate T24 and you can verify this, I get a number of trips about 12 trips. And if you're curious, from the previous slide, the number for T21 was about 101 trips, the calculations that we did on the previous slide. So you could verify these calculations and you can expect a, a similar problem in the exam.